Hello my soccer universe! You guys chose the Eredivisie to do the next review. Only the second time ever that we will do an Eredivisie review on my channel and this time in the rapid fire format where I'm going for, in my opinion, the worst shirt to the best shirt. So uh, that is definitely gonna be interesting. And let's look at the graph here of all the brands. Eredivisie is really, really, really eclectic. We have 10 different brands and the top three brands that we usually call Nike, Adidas and Puma have only a total of four teams. So the Eredivisie is not Adidas, not a Nike, not a Puma League. No, it's a Roby and Castori League. Roby having five teams, a Dutch supplier that I don't have any jerseys of yet. And the Castori just moved in, snatched up three relatively prominent teams as well. On the flip side, though, I have to say the Eredivisie, um, the jerseys in here this year are not that great. I usually love my Dutch jerseys, but I had got the feeling, yeah, it could be a little better. There's some real odd ones in there as well. So uh, that just as a caveat. All the jerseys in here, as I said, are not only sorted from worst to best, according to my opinion, but I also give them a, a star rating from one being the worst to 10 being the best. All the pictures that you see in the video are taken either from Football Kit Archive, website I can highly recommend, especially if you want to look at the history of jerseys. But there's also at least one jersey in there that has just been very recently released for the Cup Final uh, that I couldn't find a Football Kit Archive, but I found it on Footy Headlines, which is also included. So it's actually the right time to do the Air Divisie review. I hope there will be no other jerseys released in the meantime. So I will say, we'll get started and we'll start at the worst jersey and now a one star jer jersey. And this is one I have been going back and forth, but in the end, the Volendam away jersey with the eels up front. It's just, you know, I like snakes, I like fish or whatever. It's just, uh, it gives you a little bit the creeps. I also find the color scheme not really Volendam, you know, orange and black you, you usually. So uh, that adds to it. It's just, uh, a, a ugly jer a jersey. Slightly better at two stars is this monstrosity. It's the worst Nike template and it has the colors that take all the life out, out of it. The Alkma third, really, really hate that one. Uh, then uh, on the opposite scale is the Valvike Carnival jersey. I love my carnival jerseys, but this was just too much in your face as it was, I think, already last year. Uh, all primary colors, all equal. Uh, you cannot make out any logo. There's just too much going on. It's not great, honestly. Um, slightly better, but a little bit, you know, weird is the Sittard away jer uh, jersey. Maybe I can get the color a little bit, but the patterning on there, it's a little bit all over the place. And that leads us now to the three-star jer jerseys. Again, and that's it, jer jersey. Again, horrible template. The colors are better, though. We have the navy blue with a little bit light, light blue. I still don't like the template, to be honest. And we at least have a full color crest. But then the sponsor with the orange dot on there. <sighs> if that was red, at least I think it would look a teeny bit better. The Vitesse third jersey. <laughs> brown and light blue it almost goes down the volendam uh route except it's a little bit more abstract don't like that that i want for a yellow black team uh brown and light blue no not doing it for me uh volendam again pops up at this time full color color crest it's inspired by the volendam fair it just is a little bit too much again it's just too too much yes there's the ferris wheel in there um but it doesn't do it for me. Um, I think if this was just black and orange and you know have this a little bit smaller but so all, all over, ah yes, it's probably one for the collectors like the Eel jersey. To me, it's not a great jersey. Gotta, gotta say, it's a really, relatively ugly. Robbie also uh, made the Sitter third jersey, which I just find too boring. The color's completely off to me. I mean, yellow, green, and then we have. I'm not even sure if it's salmon pink, it's salmon orange, I, 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 I say, and the purpley, really weird, really, really odd. And also the Valvike away jersey by Stano. <sighs> Where to start? I mean, what's the pattern, the colors, the color combination, many sponsors, not digging that one at all. So we're done with the bad jersey, let's go four stars. Um, I like what the Herrenwein 
what jersey or special jersey is doing you know it is uh, for a children's it's a charity jersey the template everything is boring and then you know you have full color crest and other spawns and other that's why it is kind of, kind of low same with almere third uh, green and white really nothing going on next one next one is the nijmegen third jersey uh this one has more going on my problem is what's the colors i don't like that one the, the, the turquoise or white and then a little bit almost goldenish orangey in there doesn't look quite right uh the sparta uh rotterdam special jersey i get green it's the city color of rotterdam but i don't like the black crest i think there's too many uh sponsors on there it's a little bit too busy especially then with the chevrons that are also in there yeah it's a little bit messy five star category we look at the heracles third jersey this is a 120th anniversary jersey and going white and gold i think is not that bad per se but then at least make the sponsors fit with that one the acito as sponsors was sponsor if that was black and gold i think we're looking at something a whole lot better there the AZ special jersey yes AZ is not getting high grades i think there is some historical context in there with the pattern on the front uh, that's why I elevated a little bit higher because there's a little something special there but double sponsor for Canzino again with the orange dot on the purple background is okay but then also the full color crest it's it's a little bit too messy although there's at least something cool there the PSV celebration jersey for I think an anniversary with Philips it's a mashup jersey I am not a fan of mashup jerseys I know there's a whole lot of cool jerseys in there Curiously enough, most of them are Nike jerseys. So, hey, what gives? And then one on uh, uh, red on red. At least give me the red and white. The Philips sponsor, though, lifts it up because we don't see this anymore in PSV jerseys. We again go to Heracles. I like the fade in there, but it's kind of a little bit meh. And again, the sponsor, I don't like the sponsor or whatever as well. So I, I would wish to see a little bit more there, but I, at least it is interesting to look at. Uh, the Feyenoord third jersey, I think pinstripe for Castori works well. It's just, I would wish a brighter green, this kind of faded green, uh, and also this going to the crest doesn't really do it for me. Go Ahead Eagles has a classic Go Ahead Eagles look, you know, almost Ajax, but with a yellow center stripe and red uh, on there. Uh, I think the sponsors take that one down. And also, I think that we see Go Ahead Eagles will have a lot more interesting jerseys. There's just too little going on. It's just plain. That is often all right, but I think I wish a little, little bit more and a little bit less sponsors. Uh, the Vitesse Home by Roby not that bad overall it just it's down the middle it's yellow black stripes what i would expect uh sponsor ticks me a little little bit of also the sleeve sponsors uh, you know but uh, it's useful it's not really really bad the psv third jersey i enjoy the pattern in there which is kind of the circuits in there which kind of uh fit with the brain port and hoven and so on um I just wonder the coloring of the accent color. I mean, the blue I think is all right, but I, it's a little bit the yellow. That's almost goes 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 in green. I think this could have been a bit better. Uh, Utrecht. That's the third jer jer jersey now with the Odido uh, sponsor. There was a huge T at one point, but I think this was uh, released af afterwards. I like. I think it's the stadium that's a uh, picture there, which I think is cool. But then if I look at it overall, ah, yeah, it's a little bit too turquoisey. I wish maybe give me a touch of red there instead of the white for contrast. Um, Excelsior, I actually in, in a way enjoy the uh, Excelsior kit, the black with the red pants and I think with the red collar and then, you know, this one center stripes by Quick, uh, that's off center. This looks all right. Again, sponsors really, really take this one down for, for, for me. I think this could look much uh, better if there was just a simple sponsor there. The 20, not as great as last seasons that I'm wearing here, uh, but it does what the 20 uh, kit show should do. Although I find the sponsor also, um, you know, it's just too standard almost in a way. But you know, 
this is clearly a very much right down the middle shirt. Uh, does what it should, should do without being exciting. Uh, the Ajax shirt I actually take down and uh, Ajax is probably a big fair factor why I don't think the Eredivisie shirt this season are not that great. To me, this tries too much. A, the center stripe is too big. Uh, then uh, this is one of the few things where this Adidas template doesn't work. Then I don't know about the shadow striping, everything center. This may be all right, but then too many lines around the collar and the cuffs. It just doesn't look Ajax. It's as lost in trying to be Ajax as the current team is. Let's go six stars. We're entering the upper area. Uh, this Zwolle away jersey is just a box standard Adidas template in green. However, what lives it out is the really cool crest. I would think this is maybe a city coat of arms or an old uh, style crest or, or whatever. But this one makes it stand out. Otherwise, it would be a box dance and a jersey that I would give maybe four or five stars. But the crest can elevate your jersey. Uh, the Valwijk home, yes, I don't hate all Valwijk jer uh, jerseys, um, is yellow with a little bit blue, but there's an interesting pattern in there that I think uh, makes it a little bit better. Again, too many sponsors, but other than that, I think it doesn't look that bad overall. The Ajax away, uh, my main gripe with that is we have already the white with the red center band home jersey, so this majority light away jersey doesn't quite do it. The pattern on there is interesting, but what does it really have to do with Ajax? So, you know, it doesn't excite me in any way. For the Sparta away jersey, I was going so much back and forth. I actually like the color. I like that they have a full color crest on there. Um, the pattern, that's something nice, but the color. On one side, I like the shirt color, but why is it so high? And uh, the, the white part, that really turns me off. So this one could look with a more normal looking color, could have been even, even higher up. This one just looks a tad weird to me. The Ajax third jer uh, jersey, I feel this has something to do with diamonds. I think it's more or less the best Ajax jersey of the three that we have. But honestly, it's not really exciting overall. It's too rigid. It's too rigid. I'm used to having seen great Ajax uh, special jerseys. None of these really fit the bill for me this year. The Z Home, I actually do like. I don't know what this pattern on the center stripe is. It's potentially uh, a representation of the city of Alkmaar. But what I do like is that we have the Arsenal look, which I really like for Z. I also find the color not too off. The jersey itself is nothing super special, but it is an, an Z jersey. So for that, I do like it. The Nijmegen away jersey has very bad reviews on Football Kit Archive. However, there's something about the Nijmegen uh, color scheme that, that I like. And, you know, they use the same style as for the home jersey, which we'll see later. I would probably like it better if it was pure black, but they try to do something with the black and the grays. Um, maybe the lines are a little bit too much. So in that sense, it's a little bit too wild. But other than that, I honestly, there's something there that I enjoy with this one. The PSV home jersey. Um, yeah, PSV used to play in red and, you know, you have the striping in, in there, but the tone on tone stripes. I don't know. I don't know. Could be. I, I could be better. It could be better. I think if you would go with a plain red one, I actually think I would enjoy this one a teeny bit more. Like the color though, I have to say. Uh, the Heron Vein third. It's interesting. Black and then you have the club's colors in white and blue in there as well. And then you have it's the lilies, not the hearts, uh, printed all over. There's something there. It's not a bad jer uh, jersey. Maybe a teeny bit simple, but you know, as you will see, I like it in another color. A whole lot better. I really like the chevron for the Almer away. Again, the shoulders on the sleeves maybe um, annoy me a little bit more, but that one is actually pretty cool. Seven stars. The fair at home. Castori, yeah, you don't do much wrong. The color looks weird. Uh, the shadow striping, maybe you could lose that one, but other than that, it's a Feyenoord jersey as Feyenoord can be. I'm not sure if it is uh, truly a great half and half jersey that it looks like from the front as it does from the back that maybe I should have, but uh, I think the color suggests no. Um, I think the color is off. Other than that, I think it's a fine jersey. Uh, the Zwolle home jersey. Um, 
I really like the fade in the band. Maybe that there's the gap for the sponsor annoys me. I mean, you could have made it that uh, the stripes in such a way that the sponsor fits in one, I would think. But other than that, I really like this fade in there. Makes it definitely for an interesting look. Uh, go ahead, Eagles away. I like the black and the gold and there's a little bit of white in there. Again, too many sponsors, but uh, you maybe cannot really make it out. You will see it better on the uh white version of, of this one but there is a map of a fortress i think this is probably uh related to the history of Deventer, which makes it actually pretty pretty cool but i like that the sponsors are this uh, add to this black and gold look i would say the sit at home i yes it's plain yellow but there's a slight pinstriping pattern there it's just uh, one sponsor and i think that the sleeve cuffs and the collar do something interesting that's why I like this one actually a little bit. Uh, Almere Home adds something completely new. This, uh, you know, it's not quartered, it's not half, it's this wind, I call it the windmill pattern in black and red. Really, really cool. Very striking and makes me even overlook this shoulder sponsor, PLS. Please, away with it. Um, the Heracles Home jersey, yeah, black and white. And here the sponsor, yes, the sponsor should be black. But I think the jersey overall, I love the color. I love the way that the black and white stripes are, are, are done. And with the black uh, rag and sleeves, I think this looks actually quite nice. Uh, Volendam Home also does something cool. Yes, this is a Volendam jersey that, that, that I like. Uh, there is, again, a kind of a city map theme going on, which I obviously like. And then it's just orange with a little bit black. Yes, the sponsor is maybe a little bit too overbearing. We see it with a whole lot of Dutch teams this time around, but I think this on this jersey it looks actually decent. The Feyenoord away, I, there's something about it that I like. I like the colors. Um, yes, maybe I would wish a little bit more greenish in there, but I think I like the blue and uh, the patterns. It reminds me of these weird houses that they have in Rotterdam as well. So not a bad jersey. I, I have to say I do like this one. Um, Excelsior away, you saw the home jersey, it was the same thing in black and red, but I have had to say the red with the gold, that does something to me, that makes this very royal lo looking, it also lets the pattern, that's the underlying pattern, the kind of VV pattern, come out a little bit more, really, really love that one. Utrecht, that's probably the best Castori home jersey. Uh, I love that they went with the classic Utrecht pattern. Then you have the Odido sponsor. Before it was a T-Mobile. I mean, T-Mobile is a little bit more striking, but honestly, I think I like the Odido a bit better, although it could lose the Odido.nl. Um, I also like how there is an underlying circle pattern that is centered on the, uh, on the crest. I think this one looks quite all right. Now we're going to the really good jerseys, eight stars. Um, this Fair North fourth jersey. If this had a little bit more green instead of this limey one, it would be even higher. But there's something about it that I really like. The black and then kind of the map on there. It's really cool. It's really cool. I got, I got say that. I love that one, honestly. Uh, I also like Vitesse's the away jersey. You know, you have the club's colors in there, but with a double pinstripe, this is really, really interesting. Um, I mean, I think the picture doesn't give it a full judgment, but it fits very well uh, with the club's colors. Love that for that. Uh, the nine making home jersey, I this is so unique. I cannot help but love it. I mean, yes, they had they used to have black shawl shows and red and green half half look. Uh, but I have, have had to say I like this one probably more because it, this is really unique in the world out there. These are your car colors. There's also a really nice shadow pattern in there. I guess with the crest or some eagles, which makes it, uh, which elevates the jersey. Maybe the one thing I wish is that the green and black uh, band around the collar would connect to to the front. But this is an awesome jersey. The PSV away jersey. Um, I love the colors. I really love the colors on oh, this one. It makes it uh, look very high quality. I do not like the color. Otherwise, this would be a whole lot uh, higher, but uh, there is something really, really, really cool there with this one. Uh, Nijmegen, the best one is actually, I think, for the cup final. Yes, they go with black. They use a little bit this band there, but then uh, also the club colors, like in confetti sprayed over. I really love, love the one. This kind of uh, should um, symbolize the celebration going into the cup final where they will play Feyenoord. Uh, so I think they have done something really, really special on this special jersey 23rd this is something it has a stuttgart feel but i 
And the, and, and the way jersey for me is usually best done if it's white or yellow and then you add the club's colors and here in this case you just add a red chest band and then with the red crest looks really 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 cool i gotta say uh here's the go ahead eagles third jerseys and here you see there's an old city city map with some four four fortifications i love that stuff and then white and gold is not my favorite combination but here i think it works just fine uh, I think it would have worked probably even better if we add a little bit of red from the go ahead Eagles crest. But there's something about this, this one I couldn't look away and you know, put a map on there. I'm usually gonna like your jersey. The Utrecht away again, we have Odido and we've used to have it with T Mobile. I think this one probably looks better with a T Mobile sponsor. Um, I love the color com com combination, this uh, deep red with black and then gold in there. Um, also goes nice with the monochromatic crest here. I think I prefer the monochromatic crest. It's an outstanding shirt, absolutely outstanding shirt. I think it's the highest rated rated one of Football Kid Archive. I do, however, like the hair and vein home better. A crown doing a great job. Yes, the band is maybe the one thing that annoys me with that one. You put the stripes down and then you make an outline around around the sponsor. But uh, it's one of my favorite shirt designs. Herrenvein never change that one. Never ever do that. But it's not uh, my favorite jersey in there. I actually like the Twente Away jersey. I know it has nothing to do with the club colors, but I can't. This the color combination, the deep blue with the yellow off-center stripe for the Castorian, then the fade in and fade out. There's something about it also that uh, spawns in white, although the elec, maybe you can read as well, looks cool. And then you dare to go with the red crest. I don't know why. Yeah, I shouldn't like this one, but I like it a whole, whole lot. As I do the Sparta home and this one, it's also, there are many things I shouldn't like. The sponsor is too overbearing, although, note, it's just a patch. The stripes are not really broken. Uh, there's another sponsor on there, but I love the classic look of this one. The floppy collar, the uh, the red and white stripe. It looks old style, the, the, the granddad uh, style. I love that, that one's, I, you know, I need a Sparta home, home home jersey, but you see there's so many red and white home jerseys in the Eredivisie. That, that, that annoys me a little bit. Nine stars. Now we're at the best jerseys and that's only a single one. It's a red one. I don't know why, but I absolutely love this hair and vein away jersey. Again, similar to the third jersey, that, that was the same thing in black, but I think in red it looks much better because it's the color of the lilies, so it accents quite nicely the crest. Uh, you have the bands with the club's colors and yes, the bottom looks like a Russia flag, which is probably taking this jersey down a notch but i like that the lilies are also printed in there as for, for, for the third jersey and on the same positions as they are for the home jerseys a little bit you get that in there as well and then the nice floppy collar it's a simple jersey fortunately i absolutely love it and that's my favorite jersey from the eredivisie this season so this was my rating and my view of these jerseys. Please let, let, let me know which jerseys do you like in here a whole lot. Are you with me that Yaga X jersey is a little bit of a downer? And overall, I think we have seen very often better jerseys. In any case, let me know your thoughts on my ranking and these jerseys in general. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon with more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!